We're taking another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to look at four-star defensive lineman Artavis Jones, who signed with the Miami Hurricanes. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're covering the 2024 recruiting class every single day this offseason. And you need to know what your players look like before they hit the field. Here's his 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, fast forward a few minutes, you will get there. But he's ranked as the 33rd best defensive lineman in the class, 28th in the composite, 232 in the rankings overall, 192 in the composite, 6 foot 3, 280. And we are signed, enrolled with Miami. 30 offers here in Colorado trying to get after him. 30 offers. Let's talk about that because that's a good number. On my scale, 20 is good. 30, around 30 is great, and then 40, pushing 40, more than 40 is elite, and it's anecdotal, but it's something I created while looking through these profiles every day while producing these videos and noticing that he's getting 30 offers here. That's telling us that college football wanted him, and a Power 5 school wanted him. There's going to be more Power 5 programs wanting him that's in this list. That being said, they're saying, hey, he's good at football. We want him on our team. Miami wanted him. He's now on Miami. We do not have a scouting report. So maybe they did not put the time in on him, but he played track and basketball. That being said, we should have good footwork. We should have some pop and explosiveness because it takes explosiveness to throw the discus. That being said, we should have some upside here. Like I said, Power 5 programs. Florida State tried to get after him. We're signed with the U. And looks like this is a prospect that might be underranked. Again, six foot three, two eighty, four star prospect. Going over to on three here, and he's ranked as the twenty seventh best defensive lineman. ESPN loves him. Rivals loves him. Maybe something happened, and on three and twenty four seven sports had to adjust. Maybe a camp or an all star game. But we're going to take a look at the tape here. See what other teams are looking at him. Georgia. Georgia doesn't mess around. LSU doesn't mess around. Maybe we are sleeping on this guy. But let's take a look at the highlights. Nine minutes. Let's go. Drop your feelings in the comments here. First thing I notice is quickness and a good bend. I like kind of bulldogged it. Not going to lie. But when you're... Wait, we on offense? Wait, they're both red. It's confusing me. All right, I'm just going to take a mulligan for myself on there. Okay, we're in the middle. Boom. Yeah, you'll notice speed and quickness off him, off the rip. He's a nasty player. Wait for it. What am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? Oh, we got the ball. We got the ball. He's got some juice in his legs for his size. We're on the outside here. Getting down. We're running routes. We're running routes. We're ranked this low. And we're doing all this already. Look at him staying home. Look at him staying home. There's a lot going on there. It's a little smoky. But we're getting it. There we go. Working, working, working. There we are. Yeah, why are we underranking this guy? What'd he do? Did he get hurt? I just got done watching a five-star. Did a video on him for the 2025 class. He's got some similar intangibles. Granted, the five-star's got more upside. But the thing about this... Is he's got some pop. He's exploded. Look at him work down the line. Look at this. Look at this. Watch the speed here. Remember. Remember his size. We ain't gassing out either. Like we ain't going to dad out 5,000 that. We're low. Like what happened? Slamming dudes on their face. 
What happened to this guy? He's so dominant. And we got a block. We're clearing it out. He's a big boy that can move. We're on the outside. All the ball's coming his way. Oh, they can't get him down. What? Here we go again. Look at the block. What they're saying here is he's a key piece to the team. And they're going to use him however they... There he goes. My goodness. They're going to use him any way they can as a weapon. He's got speed. He's, he's one of the most athletic defensive linemen in the class. Level competition is a question here. I can say that. My God. Oh, my God. Look at the pop off the step. Two, two guys. Two guys, one cup. Good block, son. Here we go. Ball's in the air. Here we go. This guy makes me happy. Yeah, he's ranked too low. He's doing way too much out there. Showing off the goods too much. I'm going to say this. I know why On3 and Rivals has him too low. On3 and 24-7 Sports. I know why. Because when you look at him structurally, and he's doing so much where the finer nuances isn't 100% there, to compare to what they want him to be at. And they might have saw something in camp or whatever. On top of that, the size. But they're not taking into account the upside here. The nastiest stuff out of him. The grit. The power. The quick to power. They're not taking into account his fluidity. They're not taking into account that he is the whole team pretty much. That he's putting it on his back. Especially on the receiving game. How many defensive linemen in this class that we've covered catch passes downfield? Zero. Zero. Like, he's got to do so much more than your top-end five-star defensive lineman. Like, he's got to do so much more. And they don't like that because... He's not taking just those reps, working on that, fine-tuning that crap. He's got to do it all. But if you look at things objectively and you just look at his skill sets objectively, you look at that speed, you look at that burst, you can't teach that. You can't teach that long speed. You can't teach the route running of a big guy that, that's moving around like this. Also, that one play that he got an interception, he pick-sixed it. That was a screen pass. He could have just said, hey, I'm going after this quarterback. And a lot of guys would have, even the top-end guys, but he stayed home. He read the play. He had a good feel of that. That's why you got to look at upside for some of these players. Because the hit rate, real talk, isn't the greatest for every single recruit. But when you look at upside, look at what they could do at their best, especially they put their best forward. The injuries go their way where they don't have any. They climb the depth chart, and they tap into that upside. It's through the roof. And when I grade him on his upside with that big thing, he's, he's a, he should be ranked higher than where he's at. I do not know if something happened at a camp. I don't know if something happened at an All-Star game. If he got blew up a lot. I don't know. What I'm seeing here, though, is a player with a ton of upside with some speed that can be nasty. I can tell you LSU wanted him. Georgia wanted him. He's at Miami. Top tier Power 5 programs. He got 30 offers. College football saw the same thing that I'm saying right now. They're saying the same thing. But he's ranked a little bit low in the top recruiting sites. 
you got to question it. You got to talk in questions when you're talking about players because players are very ambiguous. You just got to talk in probabilities and questions. Because there's nothing written in the concrete. Just push back a little bit off the block there. We peel off and get it. So I am seeing some things there. Like it could have been a little lower there. Had that guy on the ground. You should have killed that clip right after that. Here we get to the next one. Yeah, good bend. We're a little low. We're staying home. Looks like we had some uh, containment assignment or you're waiting for it to happen. Getting low under the pads. We run them over. We're looking good here. We're looking solid. All right, let's wrap this up. We got a top-end prospect here that is ranked way too low. I don't know why. I'm trying to figure it out. If you know, drop it in the comments below. But we got a ton of upside due to the size of just athleticism. Guys that big should not move that way. Catches balls well. He's good as a receiving threat. He can get you yards after the catch. Very quick out of his stance. He can stay low. He's got a lot of pop. He's very assertive. 30 collegiate programs wanted him. They said, hey, you're good at college football. Come play for us. Here's an offer. Think about it a little bit. That means he's good at football. That means he's got some upside. They're saying the same thing I'm saying. I do not know what these recruiting sites are thinking, but... I see a good ball player. I think Miami's got a good one, and I think he's ranked too low. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.